welcome to a Siva premieres. I'm your host, Jordan Shields, and today we're going to be profiling one of our favorite staff members and take a look at the festivities of homecoming. But first, well, we're already finished the first quarter of the school year, and it seems that everybody's getting comfortable with each other, teachers, the new, the new schedules, but most importantly, everyone seems to be reunited with their friends. Let's see the royalties of students and staff members of the what they have to say about the importance of friendship. Secrecy. Caring. Having respect. Love. Arguments. Integrity. Family. Honest. Almost everyone has friends. Let's see how they got them. The way I made friends is by being very entertaining. I met my friend by playing sports. I found my friends by breaking the ice. I was the first one who said something at the table on the first day of school. Have you ever lost a friend? There's an instance in college where a very good friend of mine, she's actually kind of like my sorority sister, assumed that me and her boyfriend had something going on and she didn't address me about it. She just stopped talking to me for about maybe two, three years. So we didn't talk at all. I think um, everyone loses friends as you get older. Um, you move around, you get a job, your priorities change, and sometimes something happens. Have the friends that you had in high school Absolutely. Um, I know our students don't believe this, but we weren't always educators or uh, paraprofessionals or police officers or school police. Um, so I have a pass and um, I believe in second chances. Everyone needs a friend to support them through life's ups and downs. Friendships can motivate you in different ways as well as in home conflicts and challenges that school puts you through. That was a very interesting take on natures and friendship. Let's remember, friendship is the essential to the soul. It's that time of year again, homecoming, and it's time for us to reconnect with the old and let's take a look at a photo essay by Dedrick Mobley and see what's happening surrounding this event. is to make sure that our alumni come back and they support our school. This is our house, right? Let's go. This is our house, right? This is our homecoming, right? This is our field, right? We are! Say! We are! Say! We are! Say! One, two, three, two! It's our side. We gotta move that whole line the other way. Go, go, go! Let's see a celebration day. Very well. Turn it up every time I like to do this. Wow, that was a great take on a fabulous day. Great job, Dr. There are many wonderful teachers and staff members. Our own Chris Trotter had a chance to sit down and chat with Miss and chat with one of the most and chat with one of the students' favorite assistant principal, Miss Casiga. Can you get some work done? Yeah. When I was in high school, I um, I was really trying to figure out a career path. And I joined a program that allowed me to teach math, mathematics to, um, to young people. And when I did that, that's when I realized, you know what, this is something that I should be doing for um, the rest of my life because it gave me the, the fulfillment that I needed. Um, and it also allowed um, myself to have an opportunity to um, help others in a way that a lot of people weren't able to help me when I was in school. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, that's what made me choose to teach. How did you transition from being a teacher to a principal or assistant principal? Um, well, I was in the classroom and I kind of hit a point where I said, you know what, I think that I can make changes on larger scales. 
I can make changes beyond just the students that I teach. Mm -hmm. So I decided to look into other avenues that were still directly related to helping young people, um, still directly related to education, and I found a career path that, um, that I enjoyed. So, and that was administration. So at first I tried to work at the Board of Education. Mm -hmm. um, it wasn't my thing because I wasn't able to build relationships with students. Um, I wasn't really able to work with them in a hands-on fashion. So I decided to go back to a school mm -hmm. and be an assistant principal. Um, what's your favorite memory of working here? My favorite memories are always um, field trips and graduation. Um, and I say field trips because it's just an opportunity for students to, one, just open up, show their true colors, but then also show how positive they truly are because I think there's a lot of negative connotation around youth. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when people see them on the bus or walking down the street, there's always this, um, you know, this notion that, that that child is not doing well, that child is not doing right, they're up to no good, they're going to cause drama or trouble. Mm -hmm. But when we travel outside of this building together, um, students are able to banish a lot of those stereotypes about youth. So that's why I love field trips. Um, and then graduation is just that moment, you know, for yeah. a student. It just shows you as an educator why you come to work every day. You know, it's rewarding, it's fulfilling. And it just shows that, you know, the work that you're doing is not in vain and that you're also able to celebrate the mm -hmm. accomplishments of um, students. What is the one thing that you want to be remembered for when you retire? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I mean, I just want to be remembered for my dedication and passion for the profession. You know, um, and my dedication to, to young people, I want uh, former students to always say, you know, Miss K, I could rely on her. She always looked out for me. She was that person who helped me be successful, you know, or brought helped me to become the successful adult that I am. So that's that's what I would like to be remembered for and that, you know, I'm always flat. <laughs> that was a wonderful job, Chris. Now we all have, no, now, now we all... Now we all know how Miss K can relate to how Miss K, how Miss Kasiga can relate so well with our favorite classmates. Senior Ag Senior Athletic Recreation Day is fast approaching. Senior Athletics will be recognized for all recognized for their um, involvement in the sports. The girls volleyball team game Friday, October the twenty fourth, will be a uh, we will start at 3.45. Well, that has been a show for us today. Keep keep your eyes and your ears on the next segment for our SIVA premieres. I'm your host, Jordan Shields, and remember, keep pride inside. <laughs>